Today we have a McLaren P1 and it has six thousand horsepower this took a little while to set up but to be honest with you need for speed with a wheel is quite a weird concept to start with but you need logitech software for a thrustmaster wheel a little tip for you there you're welcome so to begin we're in a fully maxed out mclaren p1 it may look pretty standard we're going to change that but without further ado let's start a quick drive that's reverse i thought it was in neutral all right let's give it the bean shall we so what i have done to this car it's a hell of a lot! Holy crap, it's not turning! Why is it not turning?! A little bit more sensible this time. So I increased the weight, I increased the power, 6,000 horsepower, and increased the stability on the speed. <laughs> it just doesn't look- Holy crap! Yeah, we do get a lot more clipping issues because of the fact that the, it grips to the ground a lot better. It's a kind of hit and miss situation, but I want to see if we can survive a night with the wheel setup, with 6,000 horsepower, and if it's actually even worth us doing 6,000 horsepower, because to me, it just seems a little bit crazy. So you really have to turn the wheel super aggressively to actually get it to go anywhere, which is very strange for a car game. All right, I need to mod it. I've had enough of this stockness. Do you think we could survive a night? We'll see. <laughs> so as I said, performance level all sorted. We're about 6,000 horsepower. That's an estimate. It's probably more than that. But the torque, 2,950. We're all maxed out in every aspect, except the visuals, because I wanted to save that for us. You know, we need, we need to experience some things together. I know you'd appreciate that. I would too. So we're doing it together. Let's hold hands. <laughs> right. From bumper, we want aggressive P1. What on earth is that? Have we actually customized the McLaren P1 in this game? I'ma say no, because I have no idea what the front of that car is. Again, we're slowly getting through the full list of cars. We have made the wheels poke out a little bit because I think, honestly, the look, it just, it just looks pretty nice. It, there's something about it that looks a little bit stupid, but a little bit pretty cool. <laughs> I've never in my life considered these wheels, but we shall. Um, uh, mate, I'm a gloss man. You know this game. You know this. Why Why even question? We could actually have the silver backing with the black wheels. I think that might actually look quite nice. Let's make it a bit darker. I am actually oh, gladly surprised. Holy crap. At how this is looking. This is looking pretty nice. The wing, I'm probably not. Oh, do I? Oh, oh. I was going to say I ain't changing it, but I just lied. It's an understandable lie because... Everyone would, right? And oh, any sensible person. Now, I just want to make sure there's no interference by the controller. So I'm going to unplug the battery pack. Want to get that full experience. The sharp turning seems to be back. Interesting. So maybe the controller was just messing with it. Or maybe it gets delayed in the faster that I go. Anyway, let's start with this race. This is the, uh, the race that I used to do a lot. But they reduced it. They nerfed it. I can't believe they did it. But they did. Let's get this meat going, baby. <laughs> I'm excited. I love coming back to Need for Speed Heat with a new idea, a new thing, which I'm actually going to be doing quite a bit of over the next while because I do... There's, there's a lot of things that I plan to do that I didn't actually end up doing, which I'm now going to. So I'm excited. Right. Come on, P1. Let's get this race popping. We've got 6,000 horsepower. This is by damn sure at least three times... That Skyline is having a bad day. I just realized if I've modded their cars, it's going to affect them too. <laughs> but the speed of the P1, we have hit the top speed. We have hit the top speed like it doesn't even exist. I'm going to say, unplug your controller because I feel this is this is doing much better than it was before. So if I can actually remember, realistically, all the controls on wheels tend to be a pretty much the same game to game basis that needs to go away i think i might have made it too easy for myself and given myself so much grip that it doesn't even matter oh dear ah! <laughs> in the bin as, as always all right let's not get uh, too ahead of ourselves here so no repairs i ain't got no quick repair i ain't got no reduced damage none of that business oh my god I didn't lose any damage. How the balls did I not lose any damage? <laughs> I, even I would have taken damage for that. Like, I would have given myself that. Ooh. This is... 
surprisingly quite easy to do. Considering the fact that I am clipping into literally everything, every bump in the road, my car has a poo. Ah, I forgot how good the night music is as well. We've got drum and bass bopping. I have, I have really missed playing a lot more Need for Speed. I don't know why. I mean, I, realistically, there's not really been a major amount of updates. Hopefully there's something coming in the pipeline. As I said in my other video, I don't think there's going to be anything. But I ain't going to say there's definitely not going to be anything. Because I, I have a glimp of, glimmer of hope. Okay, we're heat level two. <gasps> there's a cop right there. He always does this. This policeman needs to But oh, this movie needs to find another event. Now, I'm going to give you another tip about racing wheel business. Now, I'm using this Ferrari wheel. I can't really demonstrate that, but it's an Alcantara wheel. Don't get an Alcantara wheel. What do race drivers use? Gloves. Why do they use gloves? They don't burn their bloody hands on an Alcantara wheel. It's very easy to do. I must, I must say... I get carpet burn. <laughs> I forget on the PC that I don't have many events really unlocked. These brakes are really not doing... <laughs> they're not doing very well. Why has she got the window down? You see that? My driver doesn't have any side windows. This is going a lot smoother than I thought. I genuinely thought within five minutes of coming out of the garage, I'd be like, oh, in the bin. That would be it. But no. Apparently, we are doing it. Proper brick style. P1. Give me the boost. Oh! Once it gets to the top end of the, the rev range, it's like, ah! It's like a proper turbo feel in the bin. Just just to be clear, this car, in terms of the, the base car, it's just a normal V8. Not too bad, but it's also a hybrid. We've stuck a big sodding turbo in it as well. We have made this thing the ultimate vehicle. It has all aspirations. I mean, we've removed... Nat Natri aspirated electric motors. Policeman in the bottom. I mean, on me bottom. Oh, he's gone. Is this 2015? Oh, dear. Yes, quite a bit of damage. The thing is, I can't really get it to slide. Of course, you need to clutch kick, which I have a clutch, but it doesn't do anything on this game. That would actually be, if you could have actual clutch support, that would be great. I'm just cruising. I'm cruising at this speed. Come on, tap, 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 tap. See, it's not doing it. It won't slide. It's just refusing. I mean, I, a bit of handbrake and uh, Bob's your uncle, but holy crap. Even if I just whip it, <laughs> it's like, no, I shall not be swayed. No, I've done it again. Go. Give it the beans. I should have made it all wheel drive. Oh, no. Is it still heat level two? Is he level two? I feel like... Even if we get to heat level 5, nobody's going to cause me much trouble. Across the line, the P1 is doing it. I'm do I'm very impressed, to be honest. We have got a high heat race. Ooh. And now I am quite tempted by that. So if I can remember how to bring up the map. He's not only a G at setting up all these mods, I mean, configuring some numbers. But he's also a G at driving with a wheel at night. Man, I can add this under my belt. How about we do an eSport in Need for Speed? That's right, I'll beat you all. You will, no one, no one will touch me. Kuru, that that race is happening. Me and Kuru, we're gonna race. You're like, who's Kuru? Mate, if you don't know Kuru, you clip, live under a rock. Come on, mate. Second best Need for Speed person. <laughs> Second best. Right, let's, uh, where's the race? Oh God, it's because the police are chasing me. Get on with it. Am I stupid? Possibly. I can just go around the block to lose him, can't I? Oh, please. Now he's following me pretty pretty aggressively. And he's gone. <laughs> oh, that's a cop! It's actually very stressful because I can't go in neutral. I mean, I could change it. I very much could, but I'm lazy. He says he's configured files to get 6,000 horsepower on various cars, we've done much more than that. But I thought 6,000 would be a good play. We added some weight to the car to get it. That's why it bogs so much until you get into the boost range. You can see it actually a, a, like has the real effect of a proper turbo. Move P1 GTR, more pop. Oh no, we have to win this. <laughs> we have to win this race, all right? And then we can then we can escape. So honestly, I could just 
not even full throttle it. I could be normal. <sighs> Don't get. Don't get complacent. <laughs> I am terrified. It's a long event, and there's a policeman up ahead. Meaning that we will possibly have to lose the police before the end of the event. Even after the end of the event. Otherwise, it's it. It's a way to lose. For God's sake! Here's a good demonstration of the clipping that people are talking about. Of course, the. Oh, that was the best demonstration. I didn't even intend for that to happen, but <laughs> it happens. And honestly, I, I've never really experienced it until I started really messing with these files. And maybe it's because I'm slow. I mean, I'm fast. We use number one, baby. Number 15 on the blacklist. Mate, I'm number one on the blacklist. What you talk? Get it gone. We should have a YouTuber blacklist. That's my plan. Me and Kuru, 1v1. If I win, number one. I, if he wins, he's number one. I'm, I'll be number two. Let's be real. Come on. You think I am going to be number two? Me, number two? <laughs> no. Number one, but look at the skyline. This, this is going to be hilarious. You have to see my skyline video that we did on this game. This That would explain why that boy is twitching to hellfire. It would make so much sense to you. But... <laughs> I feel kind of bad, but he is gonna, if he could actually get some traction, he would decimate everything, to be completely honest with you. Actually, depends if he has, has any upgrades, but I'm, the thing is, Need for Speed has some really solid grip, Need for Speed Heat has some really solid grip when you start tweaking. The fi as he said, he always goes into the wall. As you start tweaking the files, and it's kind of it's kind of sad in that obviously the devs just they have an issue with this clipping, and I think that's the only reason we have less grip than we do. I, I, I don't know. They, they add a try and add a simulation effect of grip by making the cars not turn very much, and that's not great. Well, I, I want grip. I want actual grip. I Balls. Can we just? Uh Ignore that that happened, because this was going well. I'm now being, I have 6,000 horsepower. What on earth are these less than 1,000 horsepower cars doing on my behind? Let's have a focus ride, shall we? Let's get it. You know it's serious when the man goes quiet. God, I hate this car now. No! It just wouldn't turn, it wouldn't turn. <laughs> it just spitters, spatters, Sp sputters, sputters. It just doesn't know what to do. That was a lot of braking, and I still messed it. We did lap someone, so I'm gonna take that. Screw it. Do the beans. <laughs> it's so quick. It gets to a certain rev range, and it's like, bah, 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 I wanna go. I want to, it's almost simulating wheels slipping in real life by having too much boost. Come on. I need a passive. Stupid focus RS. In the bin! Holy crap! I am dead. This game will be the end of me. It does this. It's very funny, I know. But there you go. McLaren P1, 6,000 horsepower with a wheel. Is it possible? Hell yes, it's possible. I made it better than it can be in the base game with that amount of power. You are so welcome. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you want to see more videos like this of me playing around with Need for Speed Heat, I enjoy making them. You enjoy watching them. I'm sure of it. I know it. I know you. I know what you like. You do like heat. And if you say you don't, you're lying because you watched all this way through the video. All right. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you know, and I'll see you in the next Need for Speed Heat video. Until next time, peace.